All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, we got two more minutes. I just wanted to make sure everything works properly. We had a little bit of a hassle getting set up. Um, Don's just checking. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's good. All right. Don says it's good. I am so excited about this issue. I'm not sure what a tortilla warmer is, but I can't wait to find out. And <laughs> look at that lace. I like the lace. That lace has been staring at me all day. I'm like, wow. Audio's fine. Thank you, Isabel. Who else is here? Oh, sorry about that. Audio's here. That, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's just terrible sounding. Lynn's going to laugh her, her head off. Sharon Dayton, hello. Hello, hello. One more minute and we'll get started. Hands here, I see. Yes. Isabel, of course. Barbara, good Friday afternoon. Yeah, it's April 1st, but that's okay. Yay, Friday. It, it's still a very happy embroidery day because I need a good design. I mean, what more do you want? Julie, hello, Julie. Pam, hello, Pam. Cindy King, yay. I'll do my best to describe for you, Cindy King, while you're working. Judy Quilt, hi, Judy Quilt. Uh, yes, sorry about your loss. It's snowing in New York. Oh, my. Dr. Gerilyn, hello. Awesome. And Isabel, of course. Isabel. So welcome, everyone. This is the most fun we have, I think, all month. I love it. It's and awesome. We'll pick our projects and um, pick out our favorites. The usual. Um, I like the American thing here, too. It's cool. It's very nice. So, four o'clock, woot woot, let's get started. Let's get started. You're up. So, let's see. Tips and tricks. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, this is going to be spectacular, probably. Yep. Um, awesome. Shadow work shapes. Curious. Very curious. And tortilla warmers. Yeah, there they are. You put your tortillas in it. <laughs> well, then. I love the idea. Who knew? <gasps> Look at this. Layering lace. Oh, my goodness. Is that ever gorgeous? You see that? <laughs> Yes. That's flipping gorgeous. Wow. I'm I'm okay. Happy with the tortilla actually. The avocado is cute. Yeah, Beatrice would really like the avocado. Oh yeah, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. That's, Next month, yes. That's coming up. 3D Mother's Day cards. Oh, it's so oh. beautiful. Shadow work shapes. I can't wait to see Here's your chance to use those overlooked bold and bright fabrics. These quilt blocks are given a layer of, what does that say? Best. Batiste? Best. Be I yes, can't Batiste. see. Yes, Batiste. Over vibrant cottons, creating the perfect pastel effect. Well, <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh, that's beautiful. Blooming objects. Pretty portraits. I love it. Scandy Smalls. All right. Cinco de Mayo. Look at the stitching on that. A, a cactus with a mustache because, well, you know, yeah. Yeah. Why not? So let's see how we can put a tortilla warmer together. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Maybe. That's that talk. <laughs> yeah. That would be copyright, so Chihuahua. no. Look, that's cool. That's cool. I didn't know it was a thing. I I didn't either, but I think it would be cool. Microwave safe batting. Yeah, you got to make sure that you use that because you're going to heat them up in there, I guess. Uh, a round ruler. Eh, I don't know if I have a round ruler. I can you find one. one. I have AccuQuilts, so... I would use that. Oh, it's beautiful, too. Base fabric. Uh, placement stitch for your base fabric. And then some lovely appliques. Here we are here. I like this guy. 
And then when you do all the stitching, then I guess we're going to put it together. Yep. Yes. So you make the front and then you make the back. Super easy. easy enough, yeah. yeah, super easy. And then put it together. I love this. That's awesome. And the microwavable batting is um, awesome too. Make sure you have the right stuff though. So that seems like a really good project to do. It's completely different. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a zipper bag without the zipper. Um, lots of turning and uh, they're really cute. So let's see what they all are. Isn't that cool? Drinko de Mayo. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one, uh, you know what? I really like this guy with yeah. the mustache. That's me. Yeah, I like it. I really like it. I could make it orange for you, dear. Uh, I would like that one. I might just stitch that out, like as a mug rug sort of thing. You could do that. Yeah, you just do the one half. It's yep. a mug rug. Yep. Pretty oh, much. That's beautiful. Nacho average girl. That <laughs> one's for me. There we go. There we go. Fiesta. Oh, the peppers are a mustache. That's cool. Is that cute? Let's talk about Cinco de Mayo. That is the happiest taco I've ever seen. What size are they? Uh, did we see the size? Let me just go back and see what they said. Usually I call that out, so thanks for reminding me. Um, does it say hoop sizes? Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't see it. Microwave safe products. I love I how they tell you everything. Um, yeah, no, doesn't say it will be at the end. It's it like may you say it in a small tortilla shell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. He's so thank you, Captain Obvious. He's so brilliant. Um, maybe I just can't see it. It's probably there when I I do a detailed review, but it will tell us at the end the sizes. So we'll make sure we say that we try to. Oh, wait. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I love that. Okay, here's we were the happiest uh, taco. I made mine 16 inch. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love the writing. That's gorgeous. Yeah, there he is. Avocado. Yeah. Cactus is still my favorite, though. I, mustachio cactus. Yeah. Yep. I like them. Uh, this is beautiful, too. It's cute. Olé! Oh, the pepper. He's cool. I love it. Now I want Mexican food for dinner. Yeah, maybe. Fiesta. Beautiful colors. Oh, these are raw edge appliques. Isn't that lovely? Oh, neat. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Viva. Mexico. Mex is that what it says? Yep. It's hard. Sorry. I'm tired. End of the day. Can't see anymore. Digitizing lace. Ugh. Kind of hard on the eyes, huh? Tequila and tacos. Yep. Ooh. So is this the back or different front? My favorite part. Sneak peeks. What do we have? Ornate arrangements. Ooh. Cacti and creatures. I love when we they do these. It's like paintings. Yeah. And this one is sweet sayings. I love the flowers. Um, Sandy says nine and three quarters inches square and seven and a quarter square, not for small machines. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think I've seen small tortilla shells that would go in four by four. This is a really cool quilt design. Magical moths. Look, they're oh, neat. 3D. Um, so lots of information about felt. This is the other thing I love about them. They they explain everything. And then they show you the the collections. Ooh, I like the skull right there. Ooh. I love the 3D stuff. Yeah, they show you the collections that you use felt. Um, I love this. Scandy Smalls. Oh, with the felt. There we go. Yeah, it's neat. 
Oh, I love this. Oh, the squares are gorgeous. No meow. Yeah, kind of. And the heart and the tree. I love the style. Bunny. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. So, um, how, how to merge <laughs> your designs together. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh, it's so cute. So with felt, you do a raw edge applique, which is really nice. It means the design gets done faster. Even if you don't have felt, you can just use regular fabric and it looks good. You see, you leave a little edge here. Um, it's cool. So super cute designs. I love these. Oh, sorry. <coughs> I love these. Uh, I like that. Yes, that's really cute. Gnome guy, this Gnome. is lovely. A big old teapot. For Beautiful. Hot, hot chocolate today. I love yeah. the bird guy here. Bird guy's cool. The bird, the bunny, and the heart. That's my favorite uh, so far. That would make a good Saturday demo. I, yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. That would be a lot of fun. Mom, you're the coolest. <laughs> oh my uh, God, that's the best card. Three-dimensional. Three that's awesome. I can't tell you how much I love that. What, that is for Mom. I hope Mom is not watching. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she doesn't usually watch the Anita Good Design, does she? Um, if you're watching, Mom, we're not making one. <laughs> we're not. You're pretty radish, Mom. Oh, look at that. For the queen bee. That's neat. Okay, these are like Hallmark, better than Hallmark oh, cards. Yeah. Uh, look at the owl. Owl always love you. I hope your Mother's Day is popping. Look at that. Okay, those are amazing. Um, okay, that fan card is an even better demo. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to agree. <laughs> the only thing is, when I make one, we only have one mom. So she's going to see it. I guess she doesn't care. She'll see it being made. Oh, yeah. It's so better in person anyway. I know. It's true. <clears throat> um, so this is cool. You make the 3D pieces, and it's really easy to do. They're just using regular fabric. But notice the step-by-step -step instructions. Now, they have a bigger hoop, but it looks like if you have a smaller hoop, you can do the the little pieces of it. So embroidering the card. Um, open the card so that the front and back are facing up. They tell you exactly how to do it all. Put your fabric down and you're going to do some stitches and it's an applique and then add the 3D parts. That's awesome. That's really cool. So it's darker orange in the back, and this is the 3D part that you're adding, and it probably stitches it down at the bottom. Awesome. Awesome. So these are the pieces, and you put it together for that. Yeah, hmm. I think that's amazing. And the sun is cool. The B, so the wings are the 3D part. And that would be super easy to do. Um, remember, too, you could use this design for other things. Because um, I think that's really cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are my sunshine. He is very cool. And the 3D element is the sunglasses and the sun. I really like these. I love you loads and loads and more <laughs> loads. <laughs> I thought it was a camera at first, so but I. it isn't. <laughs> it isn't. That one's really cute. I like it. These are your 3D elements there. Oh, flowers. Yeah. Thanks for helping me grow. Aw. Aw. Well, yeah. There's, There's so much room in my heart for you, Mom. That is brilliant. I love it. And I love the mushrooms, too. I love it. It's cute. I like this one. I love the 3D. It's an awesome idea. Yeah, and they look perfect. <clears throat> um, For sure. Radish. 
So all the leaves are 3D. Love it. Yeah, the owl. I love the owl. If it wasn't on a card, what would I do? I don't know. I'd have to think about that. So his beak and his wings. I love the raw edge applique too. I love it. Mug, mug rug Monday for the queen bee. I just might. I just might. Mom, you're the coolest. I <laughs> love the fan. I love it. I love it. That would be so much fun to do. Okay, so blooming objects, blossoming beauties. Um, so far, I like the cards the best because I think they're absolutely awesome. However, oh, that's cool how they're doing that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Look, they show you a close up right here. It's a lot of detail. It, well, they do the hidden applique, which mm, yes. I don't think anyone does it quite as well as Anita Good Design. So, uh, yeah, I love it. So one of the colors that you see here is applique, and then they add the highlighting on it. Very cute. Stitching your blooms. So, yes, background applique, and you stitch the flowers and, you know, trim it to whatever shape you want. Nice light bulb. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? I like the globe. I like the globe, too, actually. Um, Part of it's the colors. Like uh, yeah, turquoisey. But I do like the pink. Mm -hmm. uh, cup of tea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get it, but it's a great design. That's awesome with the it's yellow the flowers. coming out of a gun. Kind of. Yeah. It's a blooming gun. <laughs> It is. I love it. Oh, look at there's even detail work on the outside of the light bulb. Gorgeous. And a book. Okay, I can see Sam nice. loving this. Yep. Uh, that could go anywhere. I love it. I love it. So, okay. Ooh, layering lace for your inner fashionista. I can't tell you how much I love lace. I'm, oh, I'm very excited. Oh, isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. The joy of dressing is an art. They do gorgeous. Clown gun. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> How to layer lace on a pair. Oh, so they tell you everything you need to do. This, I think, is gorgeous. I like it in the corner of the pillow. I like the, the colors. Mm -hmm. Like this collection. Yes, I have this one, and I'm pretty sure I have this one. Not sure about that, but I'm going to have a look because I, I really mean, like that. Yeah. I really like that. So, beautiful. They added bling. Oh, my God. Organza. So, that's the beauty of it is the organza. So, this looks like, you know, old traditional kind of lace. It does. The design titled, so place your organza over it. They changed the color just a smidge so we can see it. Cut out the organza. So this would be on water soluble stabilizer. And when you dissolve it, you're left with that. And that off white is gorgeous. Peacock. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Jackie Cheek, hello. Hello, you're just hitting in time for the lace. So, you could do so many things with these. Just think like sewing it on jeans. Um, I'm sure they have a ton more ideas, but sometimes people, they look at this and go, I don't know what to do with it. Lots of things. Lots of things. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Hmm. Nicely. I like the little rose cut out yeah in the heart oh that's beautiful that can go anywhere you can put that inside a mother's day card and you will be the top kid ever <laughs> beautiful lace says jackie cheek i know i'm just loving it oh i love 
Oh, look at these flowers. I'm going to have to sit and have a look at this tonight for sure. That's gorgeous. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Oh, he's stunning. Okay, loving it, loving it. Um, I'll have to do a time-lapse video of one of these stitching out. Oh, that's gorgeous. Roses and butterflies? Yep, yep. Beautiful. It's a bird. Oh, I and love it. And a snail. Oh, and a snail, yeah. And a big bow. That's awful cute. Love the lace, says Brenda. I know, right? Look at this one. That might be the one I stitch. Oh, although look at this. Blah. So awesome. So hard to choose. It, it sometimes is. I get a little overwhelmed and then I can't figure it out. Uh, this is really neat. Two leaves, one see-through and one with a lot of cut work. Lace work, I guess. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, cool. <laughs> Fish. I love the the waves, I guess, behind them. Mm -hmm. So many new designs coming soon. Um, this is, I wish I had little ones. Uh, they have a car one like oh, this. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. I, I wish I had that when I was little. That would have been cool. Uh, yeah, or for <laughs> our kids. Yep. So now they're going to do a train one. And you can put as many blocks on it as you want. Um... The dragonfly with, these guys are just full of ideas. Uh, the dragonfly with colored organza and the butterfly, brilliant. Mm. Uh, Judy Quilt says, use fall colored variegated thread for the maple leaves. Yeah, uh, that's brilliant idea. Ronog, hello Ronog, welcome. You just missed lace, so you're gonna have to uh, watch the first half. <laughs> Uh, awesome. We the People Special Edition. Now, we're Canadian, but I'm going to say that this is a gorgeous design. I actually love that. Yeah, yeah. you don't have to be um, American. That's their nope. whatever it is. I love that. That's yeah. beautiful. Stunning. Stunning. Look at that. I like okay. how they framed it. <coughs> That's sashing, Don. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. amazing. Um, love, love, love. Yeah, I can... Oh, look at this. So much detail. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. This is the sashing. Oh, this is without sashing. Yeah. Oh, neat. Yeah, yep. that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. So it's not too bad, the amount of blocks. It's in the details, from a vision to reality. Make sure you read some of these stuff. It's pretty interesting, for sure. Oh, and then the colors. I love this. It's such a great, um, you know, way of showing the colors. These are threads. And these are the different fabrics that they use. So the sizes, uh, the 11 by 16 hoop. So that's the Luminaire, um, Luminaire 2, I guess. Maybe big, some big, other big. ones. The big, 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 big hoop. Um, yeah. All the way down to 5 by 7. So depending on what the final size, there's like everything in between which is awesome. I can only imagine how incredibly amazing the big, 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 big hoop would be, how it would look. So you just do the squares, batting, trim it down so it stays out of your seam allowance. There's applique everywhere. Oh man, look at that. So this is just one piece of it. And then you trim it out um, and you have a nice square and uh, you sew them together. Mm -hmm. And of course, they show you how to do it properly. I find myself referring to these quite a bit um, because it, it really shows you in detail how you need to sew the stuff. 
I'm getting much better at sewing, but some of the pointers in here uh, I forget. And it's really ha handy. And yeah, they're very helpful. I really like the sashing, too. Gorgeous detail. Yeah, look at that. Lay everything out. How to sew it. How to trim it down. Oh, they have ribbon? Ooh. Oh, that's for the outside. Oh. Binding, yep. Yep, that's gorgeous. <clears throat> and... I will be the happiest person like ever if I could make miter corners like that. You're so pretty good. Not that good though, man. Close. That's that's good. <laughs> that is good. Um. So here's all the blocks, which is oh man, yeah, that's absolutely gorgeous. I want to see the um, eagle. Even mm -hmm. even the writing. That's incredible. Okay, yep, the block for the eagle. Absolutely beautiful. That's amazing. Okay, so these, oh, I like that. That's, it looked like a frame. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. This is amazing. So that's the sashing they had on. Yep, and then they put this in the middle. Well, I think the cornerstone. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. Really nice. So they have a couple of collections, and I've seen people stitch them out. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah. Stunning. Yes. Stunning. <laughs> Assembling your tile scene. Learn how to put your scene together by following along with this handy video. And this is why it's cool to have digital because you could just look, see my. Uh, cursor change you could just click on that and watch the video awesome hmm. freestanding ears <laughs> well yeah so serene uh yes that's where i want to be right now awesome i like the freestanding ears <laughs> it's cute. funny what it catches my attention so charming cottages yes animal hooded towels yes Regal black work, work birds. Oh, it looks like a sketch. Mm -hmm. Bold blossoms. Oh, yeah. I'm loving all of those. So, coming soon, we'll have to be watching for them. So, graphic designer and coffee... Coffee? <laughs> Copy editor. Melissa. Hi, <clears throat> Melissa. I don't know if they watch them anymore. I don't know but... if we met her. Probably. Maybe. I don't remember. I hope we did. Uh, that's nice. Graphic designer and copy editor. So, yeah, just a little bit of info. This, have you guys uh, seen the butterfly? Oh, that's cool. Um, that's the one with the grenade in the middle. Oh, is it? I, I stood awesome. there and looked at it for a good ten minutes. Um, Taylor just, he's just stood behind me and I'm like, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's amazing. So it's right at, well, I guess they moved, but it was right at their front door. Ooh, look at the background on this. Those are nice, Ooh, pretty portraits. I like that. I love it. I love the frames. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. <clears throat> oh yeah. I love the frames and the background. That is a really clever idea for quilting background. Yeah. Love it. And they're all different. I love it. I love the curly things, whatever they're called. I don't know. Very nice. Those are cute. It's hard to do embroidered faces. Even if it's just an outline, they always look off. Uh, but they manage that lovely. Lovely. See, that's beautiful, mm -hmm. isn't it? But that background, and then one layer, and then another. That uh, Neat. That's really cool. Oh, this one's lovely. Lovely. What a great idea. I think it's awesome. Okay, so here we go uh, with Simply Stunning. I love it. Shadow work shapes. I'm excited about this. 
like this collection, find similar shadow work designs, and again, you have a link. That is so helpful. Shadow work zipper bag. I'm going to have to have a look at them and see. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> really? Make it your own combining stuff. Look at that crazy quilting right in there. That's awesome. Mix and match. I see people doing it in the Anita Good Design Fanatics group, and it's awesome. It's awesome. Mixing stuff together, I mean. Mm -hmm. So, okay, the key to making your design pop is to use brightly colored printed fabrics behind the batiste to create contrast between the foreground and background. Hmm. So sizes are the same. So big, 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 big hoop, which is 11 by 16 and all the way down to five by seven. Those look at that fabric. I love it. That yeah, is loud, but that I think that's cool. Looks like pixelated. Oh, and they have it in blue too. Okay, so we're going to put down our batting and trim it and then applique. So you do placement, put your applique down, uh, tack down, and then. I like that blue fabric. That's nice. <coughs> that is really neat looking. So they used the dark blue and the light blue. Oh, look at the, the fish with that fabric I said was loud. And then it looks like a shot. Looks amazing now. That's pretty cool. I think either way, if you don't want to make it shadow, you could skip that step. But it's still a gorgeous design. Oh, yeah. Uh, Stephanie says, interesting technique. Absolutely fascinating. I, I, I like bold stuff, <coughs> so I kind of like the bold. Oh, they are lovely, though. Hmm. That is really cool. And the designs are pretty. I would love to get this checkered fabric so in, all, cool. in all the colors. Yeah, it's a different technique. Oh, he's cool. He's very cool. See, now I love the two colors behind him. They've done that on all of them. Look at this one. Awesome. Oh, now that's cool. No, the satin stitches are on top of the Batiste, right? Uh, uh, I think so, yes. Okay. I think so. There's that fabric again. Woohoo. Oh, that's beautiful, too. Mm. That's fascinating. <laughs> I <laughs> love tree. it. I love it. And the two different backgrounds. <laughs> I wonder how it would be with a different color. Um, cool. I think you could try different colors. I mean, just lay it over fabric and see what you think. Mm -hmm. Look at the flamingo. See, look at this. I love this applique twisty in here. The wave. Yeah. The ripple. Ripple. Is, yeah. Uh, that's very cool. There's that fabric again. I'm thinking tulip pink. Oh, and an elephant. <laughs> so, steps. Oh my god, we're at the end. Oh, no. no way. So the sizes, I know we already said it, but I'm going to say it again for the tortilla warmers are there's A and B size. So they are quite big. D is usually the five by seven. Um, and let's see, it's basically 10 by 10 or seven by just a little over seven by seven. So yeah, bigger, which is fine, I think. Um, somebody just said on these shadow things, putting organza over the top. Great idea. Mm, yeah. I really think that would look good too. So just kind of flipping through. These are all your steps and colors of every single design that we saw today, which is helpful. Uh, what I like to do, because now we're on the digital, I will print out one page of whatever I'm doing, and then you can take a pen and um, cross it out if it's something, like, really huge. Brilliant idea. Yeah. 
Yeah. And if not, then I just put it on my iPad and bring my iPad. But like something that has like 50 or 60 steps, I like to cross it off because if you get interrupted, you get lost. <laughs> and, yeah, it'd be you know. Easy to miss one. Yeah. Okay, this fan is, I think, one of my favorites. So I'm going to. Oh, it's a tough call. The lace and the cards. Uh, I love those. Uh, we the people is amazing too. The detail in it, and this is something I think we could play around with. Yeah. The shadow work, I think, I think that would be really fun. So there we have it. We're almost at the back page, and that's where we pick out our favorite designs. Ah, oh, that's that. that. Duh. So I'm going to have to say cards first, believe it or not, and then the lace, um, because I think the cards are spectacular. So let me know in the comments, either now or after, uh, your favorite design. Um, I like a lot of people mention it, and I like it just out of curiosity, like why? Uh, for me, these cards are just stand out above everything else, and I think they're wonderful. Uh, uh, Mary uh, says, Lace, I know, I know. It's a tough call. So what about you, Don? Uh, on those two right there, the 3D cards and the tortilla warmers. You like the tortilla? I think it's brilliant. I've never really heard of that, but I think it's a brilliant idea. Yeah. And the designs I are mean, fantastic. We have tortillas sometimes. Sometimes. It'd be nice to have that. Yeah. But the Scandi mm -hmm. Smalls, they were cute. Oh, uh, it's all I mean, beautiful. the special edition, I think that is a spe spectacular design yeah. for sure. Cards and Scandi designs. Yeah, I'm going to say Mother's Day cards. Cards, cards, says Brenda. I know it's a spectacular issue. For sure. I think we should um, come up with something for this quilting. Shadow work. Quilts, yeah. Shapes. yeah. Just kind of change it up a bit. I really want to stitch out the mustache guy. I think he's <laughs> awesome. Um, and maybe a little bit of the lace. But I think Mug Rug Monday. Oh, I got to pick everyone's brain. So I want to do mug rugs. Um, let's see what else bookmarks I'm doing. I'm not going to do any videos on lace because it's just stitching and you guys can do that. Um, but cards. So we got to it's got to be mug rug and more Monday or something. That's the best <laughs> I could think That's of pretty good. mug rugs and more. Let me know what you guys think anyways. So um, awesome. I'm going to get scheduling some videos because I think this is going to be a whole lot of fun. We got a lot of techniques to do and um, taco warmers, taco, taco. No, it's not taco tortilla. tortilla. <laughs> it it tortilla escaped warmers. me. So thanks everyone for watching. Happy stitching. Don't forget to let me know which your favorite designs are tough call they're all fantastic mm -hmm. and i'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone bye it's awesome